Welcome back friends with another lecture in lecture series in lipids. Today we will discuss in this lecture triglycerol and vexes. So let's start today lecture. First of all we will discuss about triglycerol. So what is triglycerol? Triglycerols are formerly known as triglycerides. They are the esters of glycerol and fatty acids. So when glycerol, glycerol is an alcohol and fatty acid combine, it results in triglycerols. Triglycerol are composed of three fatty acid, each in ester linkage with a single glycerol. So a single glycerol is an ester linkage with three fatty acids. So this is in this figure, these two figures, it is the reaction is given. So this is the glycerol part, this one is glycerol, this one is fatty acid chain. So these two combined results in a triglycerol. This is the another reaction, complete reaction. This is glycerol, it contains C1, C2, C3, and this is three fatty acid, you can see here. So these two combined, it releases three water molecules and results in triglyceride, which is an ester, and the bond between, with the bond which is formed between glycerol and fatty acid is known as ester bond. So it is triglycerides. Next one is the triglyceride, those containing the same kind of fatty acids in all three positions are called as simple triglycerol, simple triacylglycerol, and are named after the fatty acid contains. So those triacylglycerols which contains all the same kinds of uh, fatty acids are known as simple triacylglycerol, and these are named according to the uh, fatty acid they contain. So uh, it is, the name is given according to the specific type of fatty acid it contains. Most naturally occurring triacylglycerols are mixed and they contain two or more different types of fatty acids. Although sim uh, simple triacylglycerol are also important, but most naturally occurring triacylglycerol are mixed and they contain different types of fatty acids. Fats and oils which is widely distributed in plants and animals are chemically triacylglycerols. Fats and oils both are known as triacylglycerol. Fats are solid at room temperature and oils are liquid at room temperature. Triacylglycerols are nonpolar hydrophobic molecules, which means that they are insoluble in water. Triacylglycerol have lower specific gravities than water, which explains why mixtures of oil and water have two phases. One is oil with the lower specific gravity, and that floats on the aqueous phase. Due to the low specific uh, gravity the, of triacylglycerol, then water, it floats on the surface of water. Next one is triacylglycerol provides store energy and insulation. These are very important functions of triacylglycerol. In most eukaryotic cells, TAG triacylglycerols form a separate phase of highly droplets in cytosols and it serves as a source of metabolic fuel. So it is, it is present in the cytosol as a separate highly droplets and it is used in, um, when, they, when energy is required. In vertebrates, specialized cells called adipocytes or fat cells stores large amount of triacylglycerol as fat droplets. So these uh, triacylglycerols are present as fat droplets in adipocytes or fat cells and they are used 
when whenever energy is required. Triacyl glycerols are also stored as oils in the seeds of many types of plants and provides energy and biosynthetic precursor during seed germination. So those um, uh, highly uh, lipid containing seeds and plants, they contain stored oils and uh, these the stored oils provide energy and biosynthetic pre precursor when the time of seed germination comes. Adipocytes and germinating seeds contain lipases, which lipases are those enzymes which catalyze the hydrolysis of stored triacyl glycerol and releasing fatty acid for the exports to sites where they are required as a fuel. So lipases hydrolyzes the triacyl glycerol and releases fatty acid and these fatty acid can be used as a fuel when you, where they are required. In some animals, triacyl glycerol stores under the skin serves not only as energy stores but also as an insulation against low temperature. So we already discussed that the uh, lipids play an important role in as an insulation material. So that lipid is triacyl glycerol and this protect the organisms uh, in low temperatures. Seals, walruses, penguins and other warm-blooded polar animals are sufficiently provided with triacyl glycerol because these organisms live in extreme condition, polar conditions, so they are provided with abundance of triacyl glycerol which protects it from the cold condition, environmental condition. Next one is in hibernating animals like bears, the huge fat reserves accumulated before hibernation serves the dual purposes of insulation and energy storage. Also, those animals which hibernate in um, extreme condition, uh, it have huge reserves of accumulated, uh, huge fat reserves and they are accumulated before hibernation and it, uh, uh, per it uh, performed two functions. First was in insulation and protect it from extreme environment and second it also provide energy when required. In sperm whales, triacyl glycerol and waxes allow the animals to match the buoyancy of their bodies to that of the surrounding uh, during deep dives in cold water, thus helps sperm whales to keep the same density as the surrounding water. As we know that sperm whale uh, live in deep uh, cold water and we already know that uh, the, the, that the triacyl glycerol, the specific gravity is lower than water. So waxes and these allows the uh, allows the, the sperm whales to match the buoyancy of their body with the surrounding water. So it helps in deep dives in cold water and because uh, these two uh, keep the same density as the water. So it helps in diving deep in cold water. Many food contain triacyl glycerols. This is an important function of triacyl glycerol. Use of triacyl glycerol as of in food. Natural fats in vegetable oil, dairy products, and animal fats are complex mixture of simple and mixed triacyl glycerol. These sources contain also simple and mixed triacyl glycerol, which contain different types of fatty acids. Also vegetable oils such as corn, may, corn oil, olive oil are composed of largely of triacyl glycerol with unsaturated fatty acid and are therefore liquid at room temperature. We already know that unsaturated fatty acid are those fatty acid which contains two or more double bond and it is liquid at room temperature. So these plants contain unsaturated 
fatty acids. Properties of triacylglycerol. A few important property of triacylglycerol are biochemical re relevance are discussed below. These are some important properties of triacylglycerol. First one is hydrolysis. Triacylglycerol undergo stepwise enzymatic hydrolysis and release free fatty acid and glycerol. It is catalyzed by lipase. So with, when triacylglycerol undergo hydrolysis, it releases glycerol and free fatty acids. So you can see here, this is triglyceride. Uh, this is glycerol and this is fatty acid. Water is needed. And you can see here after hydrolysis, glycerol and free fatty acid are releases. So this is an important properties of triacylglycerol. The next one is saponification. The hydrolysis of triacylglycerol by alkali produce glycerol and soap in a reaction known as saponification. So this is an important reaction. In this reaction, triacylglycerol react with alkali, this is 3NaOH, and it releases glycerol and forms soap. The next property of triacylglycerol is rancidity. Rancidity is the term used to represent the deterioration, deterioration of fats and oils resulting in an unpleasant taste. So here the fats which contains unsaturated fatty acid are more susceptible to rancidity. So it is the unpleasant taste of fats and oil. Uh, and this is an important properties of triacylglycerol. The last one is the hydrogenation. Oils containing unsaturated fatty acid can be hydrogenated in the presence of high temperature, pressure, and finely divided nickel. And this is an important process, and from this process, the oils are converted into solid fat, and it forms the basis of industrial production of hydrogenated oil, vegetable ghee. So in this process, this is very important in industri industrial production of hydrogenated oils. Here, oil is converted into fats. So you can see in this reaction, this is triolein, which, which is an, uh, a type of oil. You can see here the melting point is 17. So after this reaction, you can see high pressure nickel is used. The triolein is uh, changed into tri steering and it is solid fat. It is oil and it is solid fat and you can see the melting point is 60. So the melting point increases. So this is very important uh, properties of triacylglycerol. The next uh, important types of lipids uh, are known as waxes. Vexes are esters of fatty acid with alcohols other than glycerols. So vexes are the type of lipids which are ester of fatty acid, but it contains other alcohols than glycerols. Generally, the alcohols residues contain from 12 to 32 carbon atoms. So in vexes, the alcohol uh, residue contain 12 to 32 carbon atoms but cetyl alcohol, which is a 16 carbon eight compound, is the most common alcohol in waxes. So cetyl is the most common. Generally, they contain 12 to 32 carbon atoms. Waxes are hydrophobic in nature, which means that it is insoluble in water. So this is the general representation. You can see structure of wax. It contain fatty acid and alcohol other than glycerol. This is the specific example of a wax, a structure of a B wax, which is um, an important type of wax. You can see here it is a fatty acid. It is a long chain alcohol. So it can, uh, when these two combine, this form a wax, which is a B wax. B wax is an ester formed by combining palmitic acid 
with 30 carbon alcohol. So this is the 30 carbon alcohol and this is palmitic acid. This fatty acid is palmitic acid. Types of um, waxes. There are some important types of waxes. First one is animal waxes. Important types of animal waxes are bee wax. Bee wax is secreted by bees to make cells for honey and eggs. So this is a very important. We already discussed the reaction of bee wax. Next one is the lanolin or wool wax. Lanolin is produced by the sebaceous gland of sheep. This is also an important type of animal wax. The next one is the cerumen, also known as ear wax. It is present in ear and it's used as a protective layer over the ear canal. So it protects the ear canal. Next one is the sebum. Sebum is an oily substance secreted by the sebaceous gland and it prevents skin from become, becoming over dry. So it is also an important type of animal uh, wax. Next one is the sperm, spermacity. Spermacity is a waxy substance present in the head cavity and blubber of sperm whale. So it is also very important. In the figures, you can see some examples of wax, animal wax are given. This is sperm whale and this spermacity is present here in the head region. This is the honeycomb. It is an example of bee wax. And this is the lanolin, the wool wax, which is obtained from the sebaceous glands of sheep. So these are some important examples of animal waxes. Next one is the plant waxes. These are found in a variety of plants. Important one are carnauba wax. Carnauba wax is produced from the leaves of carnauba palm, also known as Brazilian palm. This is Cupernicia serifera. So this is a very important type of plant wax. Next one is the leaves coating. Wax are also found as a coating on leaves and stems and it prevents plant from losing excessive water loss. So this is a very important function of plant wax. The next one is the jojoba oil or wax. It is produced in the seeds of jojoba plant. So these are some important example of plant waxes. Next one is the function of waxes. So we discuss different types of animal and plant waxes and these play an important role in, uh, the, in our daily life. Some of the use are, some of the waxes are used in the preparation of candles. So candles are very important. And lubricants, cosmetics, ornaments, and polishes, etc. So these are very important uses of different types of waxes. So it is all about Try a silicilus roll and waxes. Thank you for watching and joining.